identified. Commencing guidance protocol. See the way that its mane stands on end? The electricity coursing through its body and keeping its hair upright is the product of overexposure to Blanco. This has also contributed to a significant increase in aggression, agility, and speed. In fact, eyewitnesses report that it is capable of catching prey with lightning quickness. By studying this predator's hunting habits, perhaps we too will be able to develop swifter, more efficient ways of felling fiends. Now hurry and collect our data before that nimble wolf gets the best of you.
positively incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal of this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel or analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. I'm counting on you. business. Once you finish, return home. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. What do you want? 
Don't scare me like that! You... you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that... Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me! Oh, God, this is too much! I think... I'm gonna throw up! Don't give me that look! It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry, too, you know! <laughs> People call me Crybaby Dead! Because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's Blood! <laughs> Please play around with me! I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. You were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Motco pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment. 
recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgar's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. We are working as hard as we can to get the power Mercy rate back on Mars. But I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the I other city. The so you don't know who he was talking about? Mm. No, nope. not a clue. Everyone, You're the only please, hot shot I one know. At a time. Most undercity mercs don't go bragging about being an ex-soldier. Reactors are terrible for nearby farmlands, which is why I'm glad we get our Mako from Midgar. So, let me get this straight. Rufus Shinra, the new president, is the son of the old Does this mean you are terrorist group responsible for the bombings in Midgar is believed to have taken shelter in Kong. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town, during which time it was placed under a temporary lockdown, which has since been lifted as of this report. The suspects remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Information which leads to an arrest is something... Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, you think you'd be able to win it back for me? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks. And that slimy bastard. He. He's. Stolen! Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender too. You are? So then you know. You're so tough. I can't do it. Don't you think I would if I could? God! I'm a shit player, don't you get that? Whatever you say. Hardcore players are willing to throw down hell a gill for rare cards. Please, I'm begging you, you gotta get it back before that asshole tries to sell it.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil no problem. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Information which leads to an arrest. Our candy uses locally produced cherries and chocolate. Free samples available. <laughs> 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 Care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him? <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Thank you. 
Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Someone say Merc? I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. W is that Cloud? <sighs> but I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the Mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the Mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is, uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for him together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so these are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there is the bare minimum. So, any questions? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for spruce and boat. Did you find what we need? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. The mark's hard. People don't talk about that enough.
Digipy will be me. Holy mother of scrap metal! Way to go, guys! When we're finished, that pipe will be good as new! I bet we could even charge extra. <laughs> now then, follow me, would you? Let's not keep my money, I mean the pipe, waiting. to find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, never letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face.
please limit your activity. Recent security operations have agitated the location. Now the deal with all. There you are. I heard everything from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow mercs be compensated. Folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that feud. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? at those cards, boy.
You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A-game. first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off for you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that 7th Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise. The suspects remain at large, but public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. The insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Those mill 
Piglets are refusing to come back. And we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooplets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo! Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa! out there, Kubo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more Emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Kubo. 